she's really worked you over, hasn't she? I'm surprised to see you. We had assumed you'd just leave. Well, time to put her pawn to sleep. Good night. Now! Don't worry, Dahlia. With him out of the way, she has no conduit for her power. Mama? Mama? What is it? Don't touch. Oh, it's hot! Leave it be. It is a cage for a demon. Contained? His power will focus yours. Release him, and we will all burn in the fires of hell!
After the Richard Grady fight, I was not looking forward to what Climax was pulling out for its final boss. But after getting through the Alessa fucked Silent Hill and putting the flowers back together, I was damn sure gonna at least look at it. And it sucks. It's not even for the train wreck reasons that Richard stunk, but in a more out of the blue sense. Like, even though this game had all of his ducks set up and ready to go, they pull a wild card out of their ass crack that ends the deal dull as dirt. The character design of the Flowers Demon is bad because it is the most stereotypical demon I've yet to fight, with nothing to make him unique other than being summoned by a flaming tetrahedron. The battle itself is something to never write home about since Flowers Demon's attacks only use long-range tactics. A super simple fire laser which he shoots from his gaping chest wound. Hmm, maybe the Black Knight was right after all. Then there's his rain of fire attack with an unpredictable range and it can hit you four to six times since this game gives you no invincibility frames. The attack barely does damage and the game gives you four 100% health items before this fight, so even the most bullshit point of this fight is totally pointless. All you have to do is walk briskly around him, fill his chest hole with bullets, and wait for the end cutscene, and since the Flowers Demon is off screen all of the time due to the moron cameraman, you can't even get satisfaction from seeing him get shotgunned up the face. 